Welcome back to another video by the Organic Lawn Water. Today we are going to review the Melnor Hose Water Timer. I have three different kinds uh, sitting on the table right now. Uh, here is the Rainbird uh, type. This is a single hose. I've used these in the past. They work really great. Um, but today we're going to review the Melnor. They have a two hose and they have a four hose. So with the four hose, it's really simple. Here, you connect this to your hose spigot, hose bib, however you say it, uh, from where you're from. And then here, down here, you have the four different adapters that you can go to a hose with. And the two hose adapter works the same way. Here, you connect this to your hose spigot, and here you connect to your hose as well. What I did with my Melnor system is I actually built an underground uh, sprinkler system with mine. Um, what I did was is I connected uh, the sprinkler head here. This is a Rainbird um, with the adapter. And then here is actually Funny Pipe. And Funny Pipe is what you would use as extensions off of your main line on a PVC uh, sprinkler system. And then over here, we just have a regular uh, Rainbird uh, adapter with another PVC uh, adapter here. And then what you actually do is you can connect it to your Melnor timer. And then obviously the funny pipe will be really long and you'll branch off into uh, sprinkler heads in your underground system. And I'm gonna have a future video on exactly how I did Another that. thing I found helpful was these little uh, adapters here. Um, I found these at uh, Lowe's. And what's really cool about these is you, they screw on the bottom here real nice and easy real quick and easy so if you want you can have your hose uh, here or this end connected to your hose um, and they do have little shut off valves here as well on them but I just found it like a little bit easier to screw this on as opposed to the end of the actual hose onto here um, I don't know, something about these, they just fit real nice and tight um, and they're real easy to uh, screw on and screw off. And I'll leave the uh, link of the uh, product below. Um, like I said, I bought these at Lowe's. Next part of the video, I'm going to actually go through some instructions on how to program this. It's very easy to do. Um, and what I really like about this timer is, is there's four zones, meaning there's the four hose attachments that you have here. And on each of those zones, you have four different times of the day that you can actually set it. I think this is really cool. It's really helpful. Um, the Rainbird that I showed you earlier uh, in the video, it only has two times a day you can have um, the, the timer come on. And what I really like about having a four time option is, is when you're doing an overseeding and you really need to keep that soil uh, moist, you can ha set it for multiple times a day for it to come on. And I think that's really cool. I think that's a really cool feature uh, for this uh, Melnor timer. So like I said, I'm gonna go over the instructions on how this actually works. Uh, this button here actually, if we press it a few times, we get to what day of the week it is. So today is actually Monday. Um, and then you press that. And then if you press this arrow here, you can set it to Tuesday and you press okay. And then it, then it goes to uh, the time. And that's the current time. Um, and this current time is actually wrong because it was a uh, daylight saving. So I'll set it back to what the current time is just for demonstration purposes. And then you press OK again, and then you're back to this screen. And I'm gonna set it back to Monday because it actually is Monday. So that is how you set the current time on your timer. So the next step is actually setting a time for a zone. So zone one is here. This is zone two, three, and four. So if we actually press the zone Zone, but uh, the top button here will get to to see the actual zones at the bottom of your screen. Right now, zone four is selected. So if we want to go over to zone one, 
we just press the zone one, two, three, four button right here. Now, if you can see here, it's a little dirty, but if you can see here, you have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So if you want it to come on Sunday, you press OK, then the square box comes around it, then you click the plus sign here, go to Monday. If you want it to come on Monday, you click Monday. If you don't want it to come on Monday, you click the OK, and you can go on to the next one. So you could set every other day, you can set it to come on multiple days of the week, or just the weekend, just the weekdays, however you want it. Then to go on to the next zone, to zone two, you just press the zone one, two, three, four button here, and then you go over to the next zone and you do the same thing. You select what days of the week you want it to come on and so on. Zone three and zone four. So after you select what days of the week you actually want it to come on, the next step is to actually set the time and how long you want it to come on. So what you do for that is, is you hit the triangle button again. We're on zone one, which is the first hose bib here, the, the first hose connection. You have four different cycles, A, B, C, and D. You can alternate between those cycles by just pressing the cycle button. So we're on cycle A here. We want it to come on, say, 615. We press the arrow over to 615. The plus arrow here. Then we press the triangle. Then we come to cycle A. And we only want that to come on 15 minutes. So we'll press the minus arrow here to 15. And we press the triangle again. And we go back to the home screen here. It's on auto meaning it's going to come on automatically here as you can see it just switched uh, to 615 and there you go so if simple. we want to set another time on the site on zone one we want to do zone one cycle b we go to the triangle we press over to zone one we press the triangle again we press cycle b and say we want to come on at five o'clock at night. We want two waterings in one day. We just press the arrow. So we go all the way to five o'clock. And like I said, this is very helpful when you do an overseeding and you have to water multiple times a day to keep that soil moist. So that new uh, grass seed that you put down doesn't dry out. So there we go, we got five o'clock, cycle B, zone one, we press the triangle. This time we want it on for 25 minutes. And then we press the triangle again. And now it's all set, it's back on auto. And it's gonna come on, there's two different times, 6.15 and five o'clock on zone one. So if you wanna set up another zone, it's pretty simple. All you're doing is just clicking through the zone one, two, three. So we press the triangle again. Now we're on zone one. Now we want to go to zone two. We want to program the second spigot. And the same thing applies for zone three and zone four. So we're on zone two. We're pressing the triangle again. Now the start time here, obviously we want it to be different than what our first start time was on zone one because we don't want them on, to come on both at the same time. You can if you want, um, that's up to you. For me, with my water pressure, I need these zones to come on at two different times. Um, but what we'll do is, is I'll show you a uh, spreadsheet that I put together to simplify this so you know what times to come on and what times for them to be uh, turned off. Um, so for instance, we know that we put it on at 6.15. Um, so we're just going to do 8 o'clock for demonstration purposes. You press the triangle again. We want it on for, say, 20 minutes. Press the triangle again, and we're set. One more feature with this, it does come with a rain delay, which is very helpful. What you do is, is you hold in the plus button here. And then you can delay either how many hours or days you want. So if you want one hour, you would just hit okay. Or if you want a couple, say a day, 
you just hold in the plus button or keep tapping it until you get to 24 hours or on here it becomes one day and then you just press the okay and then if you have something set for either that day uh, it will delay a day off of that schedule so another feature on the Melnor timer is the on off manual mode and it's really cool if you just wanted to come on say for 20 minutes you're in the yard and you see a couple dry spots and you know that your timer is not going to come on until say tomorrow morning or a couple days from now and you want to hit it with like a quick watering you just press the on off button here you press what zone you want either one two three or four here um, so say we want zone three here you press the on off you go over to zone three which will be this one here the third one here you press say 20 minutes and you press OK and you hear the click there that means that the water is going to be coming through zone 3 here um, it automatically will shut off after that 20 minutes but if you do want it to shut off before that you just press the off button here and that's it and, and my oh, last my tip God. here for this uh, Melnor timer is is if you see zone 1, 2, 3 and 4 at the bottom all four of these are going to turn on at some point to what time you had on. So if you do not have a hose connected to either any of these four, it's going to turn on. I had this problem myself uh, when I first hooked this up. One of the zones was on and there was nothing connected to it and the water was gushing out. So you want to make sure that there is nothing uh either well you want something connected to it or you want these to turn off so if you don't want it to show up at the bottom here what you have to do is is go to your triangle go back to that zone you want to make sure that it's completely off and there's no time in there for any of the cycles for that specific zone so we're going to scroll this all the way back until we see the double uh, not that it's not double but the triple uh, dashes here we're just going to make sure that there's no other times on that zoom program then there's not we're going to press the triangle again they'll go back to the main screen with the auto here and as you can see the three is gone so we know that there is nothing timed for that zone number three here this uh, hose connection here this is a very important tip if you don't want anything to be flooded in your yard and that's my review on the Melnor water timer. Um, here's the two hose again. Um, we demonstrated today on the four hose, but it works exactly the same way on pro. Like I said earlier, I found these very helpful doing my uh, overseeing this past uh, fall. Um, having that four cycle system really helps with having, if you need to water four times a day, three times a day, two times a day, however many times you, you need to, having that four time uh, limit on there, I found that very helpful. And if you like the shirt that I'm wearing, I'm a big Office fan, as you can tell. I actually made this shirt myself. I'm a big uh, DIYer myself. I make a lot of wood signs, and I actually make a couple t-shirts as well. If you're interested in purchasing one, please comment below, and I will get back to you um, on how to get yourself one of these cool t-shirts. And again, I appreciate everyone watching and subscribing so far to my Organic Mold Wear channel. I appreciate it a lot. And please like and subscribe. Thank you. And I'll see you next time.